Lasers! You know what's more fun than one laser? Um, more than one laser. You know what's more fun than more than one laser? One hundred lasers. And you know what's more fun than one hundred lasers? One hundred lasers that are all focused on a single point. And this is an idea that came from the comments. Not only just this comment, but a whole bunch of other comments after it. But this was the first one I could find. And I'm going to do just that, or I'm going to try to do just that. I'm going to try to put a hundred lasers that all end up focusing their beams onto a single point. But uh, what's cool about the lasers is they've actually also just gotten an update. You may notice that this thing has pretty much infinite range, but if I go into the settings here, they now have a firing range. When it's on zero, it is essentially infinite, but you can go up to one, and when you're on one, uh, you can see now it has a stopping point. And you know what that means? That means you can actually create like a, a lightsaber pretty much. Like I, I'm kind of tempted at some point, I'm sure somebody else is gonna do it before me, but to create like a humanoid robot that looks like it's holding a lightsaber and then swinging the actual lightsaber. Let me actually see what this feels like real quick as I um, swing this across a building or just approach a building with the tip of it. There we go. Oh, whoops, I did not approach it exactly the way I intended to. But look at the, I even, the particle effects give the lightsaber feel as well. So I do, I like this because then you don't automatically destroy everything behind it too. So that's pretty good. All right, I think I can go ahead and aim down and just chop right through it. Like a knife through butter. Like a lightsaber through a building. I guess that's, that's the new knife through butter when it comes to instruments of destruction now. All right, but anyway, let, let's get on to the main point of the story here, which is um, focusing lasers onto a single point. I'm thinking one of the recently added parts may actually help with this, and that part being the flex pivot, because now we can change the starting angle, and I can just angle each individual laser using these pivots here. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the simplest way to start this off. I pretty much got an eight-sided starting point using these flex pivots to give me this 45 degree angle. So that means that each of these points has to have 12 lasers branching off and converging onto a single point. And that'll bring me up to 96. And then this brings me up to 97. And maybe I can like add four more on here that are gonna be at a slight angle and then I'll bring it up to 101. I don't know if this is going to go well or not yet. I hope all of these pivots linked into each other are going to work as intended. All right, so the smallest angle I can do on these pivots is 7.5 degrees. I, it doesn't seem like I can go any lower than that. I don't know if there's a way to actually type in. I can't find a way to actually type in a more precise measurement. So we're just gonna go with that minimum. So if I do that 7.5, attach an overdrive, and then attach a laser. Uh, let me see where these lasers converge now. Oh no! I don't know if this is gonna work. Do they converge? Oh, they don't even converge. Why isn't it converging? I thought it was gonna be an accurate 45 degrees. It's not. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was, maybe? All right, well, out of curiosity, let me just see what happens if I just start continuing this thing up. Wait, it's like more stable now. Okay. They are not converging like I thought they were going to converge. I like how I'm still just absolutely destroying stuff out there. Okay, you know what? I might have to just call this close enough. <laughs> And I hope that as I build this out, there's going to be just a general area where they converge. Because for some reason, this isn't uh, this isn't nearly as precise as I was as I was expecting it to be. And I can't think of a better method right now. But I definitely want to go ahead and make sure that the strength is maxed on everything. All right, now I got these bottom ones. Let's see if they all seem to converge on a point now. Ooh, look at that! So, what distance is this? Do you think? Let's figure it out with the main laser here. All right, this actually looks kind of good. You can see this is where the distance is. This is 0.4 and it's just around that area. I wanted to give it a little bit of wiggle room. So let's start with that. So now I gotta go and change every single other laser to 0.4. Oh no, even with symmetry mode activated, I still have to go and select the other ones and uh, change them anyway. I thought I was gonna be able to save some time with symmetry mode, but it appears not. But look at that. That's promising. Let's see if I continue it out, if it'll, uh, if it'll keep doing that. My main concern with this is structural stability the further away I get from this uh, center point. I really don't know how it's going to handle this. 
Oh no, I just built this out a little bit more to just test it. Oh wait. Oh, you know what? Flex beams. Okay, check this out. If I just build all the way back to here, and now check it out, I think I could just attach from like here all the way up to here, and now we should be stable? Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a glitchiness going on over here. Hold on, I'm wondering if I can build out a little bit with a flex beam and then build back to here. Does that help it? That looks good. Wow. Oh, flex beams. I have been converted to the power of flex beams. All right, so how many do I potentially have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 12 on each arm, right? Before I go any further with these arms, though, let me just attach a bunch of uh, lasers and just confirm that this is still going to be functional. This is an insane build. Way more insane than I was imagining it being. And I was already imagining it being pretty insane. This game really needs a multi-select option where you can set the settings on multiple of the same kind of object all at the same time. All right, here we go. Oh man, this thing looks so epic already. All right, um... Oh, it's so loud! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so shaky. I think I'm, I'm gonna have to turn off this, the screen shake. I don't see an option here when I'm in game, so I think I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. But that is a ridiculous amount of screen shake. All right, I built out the rest of it. Those ones, we're, we're gonna have to add some stability to those ones. But let's just see what it feels. Oh my good, the sound. It's so, oh, that looks so cool though. They do seem to be mostly focusing on a single point, but they are, they're not exactly in the center, which annoys me, but I really, I don't, I don't know of a better way to try to make this symmetrical. So we're going to have a slightly unfocused focal point. All right, but let me go ahead and add another uh, set of flex beams here. All right, they're just barely tangent to the curve of this. Does that give me the stability I need, though? All right, we're going to... Oh, we're, we're front heavy now. I'm going to have to add some more flex beam to the middle, which I think should be easy if I just put an attachment point right there. Now I can flex beam it from here to here, and then from here to here. Is that stable? Oh, that is solid. And front heavy. Okay, so now I've just got to do this uh, six more times. Okay, one more set. Oh, I forgot to add. See, that's what happens when you don't have the power of flex beam. Oh, I forgot. Forgot I was going to do that thing. Okay, hold on. Oh, here we go. Options. I found it. I found it. There's got to be screen shake on here. Camera shake off. There we go. Much easier. All right, now I got to add the power of flex beam to keep this thing stable. There we go. Now it should be absolutely rigid. Oh, and that actually... Oh, no. I go too low to the ground now, but... Oh, man. the set That... I love the design. This design is actually really cool looking. I'm a big fan of that. All right, we got 48 right now, so we're we're halfway there. Now I just gotta do this four more times. All right, so I built the top and bottom ones now, and uh, it's gotten to a point where I I can't stabilize with a flex beam this bottom one without conflicting with the original body, which is fine because I think what I can do is just delete this from the original body and then move this entire thing, which honestly. I don't even think I need this entire thing anymore. I think I need to build something pretty much completely different at this point. All right, I got an idea. I'm building out a new base. I haven't even finished the thing yet, but I just want to see. I think I need to be able to adjust the angle of this thing if I'm going to actually be able to hit anything. So I'm trying to create a pivot right here that is going to then link over to these pistons. So that if I just do a flex beam connection to right there, I think, please work. I think when I do the piston, it should angle it. Okay, that's not a huge angle. Hold on, let me turn it on. Oh, that is such a loud startup noise. But as you can see, the idea is there where I can lean it forward. It's so tall. This isn't like practical. I need a building to be in here. All right, well, let's see how far I can make this thing go. I mean, clearly the solution is to add another set of pistons and even a third set of pistons because apparently I can do that. I'm going to put them on very, very low strength, which is, I think, I think it technically is speed. All right, and then I just attach them with the flex beams right there. And now let's see how it feels. All right. 
We're angling it forward. Here, let's do... Turn it on. There we go. So now imagine a building right here. I think that might be doable for a taller building. Perhaps. Alright, this is actually looking pretty cool. Okay, now let's start building the last two arms. I got six right now. I need eight arms. Okay, I think it's almost ready. Oh, it gets louder and louder every time. Look at that design, though. That is so cool. So this is um, 97 beams right now because of the center one. That's 96 plus the 97. Is it possible for me to add four more in here? I mean, I guess I could add them, like, right here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Where are these things going to end up meeting? All right, here we go. 101 lasers. You know what? I mean, it's really close enough. You can't even tell, really. There they are. They're, um, hold on. I got to get a right, the right camera angle for this. There they are. These four ones stick it out right there. All right, now let's test out how's the, uh, how's the angling going? It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I just have to basically eat a building. All right, I think it is finally done. I've actually adjusted the pivot point with the pistons to be a little bit closer over here, so it gets a little bit of a steeper angle. So, here, let me turn it on. Ugh. And show you how far it angles down now. I also added the tracks up in the front there. So this is 100, I believe if I counted correctly, this is 101 lasers. So I should actually have some decent speed as well here. Let me bring this back up. Oh yeah, I got really decent speed. Look at that. There we go. Now, can I actually get this thing to focus its focal point on a single building? Here, let me turn it off first. And then see if I can engulf this building. Oh no, is the bu the building isn't... It's not tall. Oh, you know what? We got to go with one of these towers. I can engulf one of these towers. Oh, man. This looks so menacing from this perspective. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure as long as the side ones are on either side of it, that indicates that it is in position. So we should obliterate this particular part of this building in three, two, one... It's literally been vaporized. It was like, it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it just disappeared. Oh, that's amazing. All right, let me see if I could just, what if I lower it into this? Oh, look at the reflection. There's reflections in the glass. That's so good. Oh, I wish I could lower this down even more. Oh, I figured out how. I'm gonna make it fall over onto this building. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm balancing right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, the center of that building is like, the, it, it's the it's the temperature of the sun in there. Like, it, it has to be. All right, you know what? I think this building right here actually might even be the perfect building. So let's go for that one. It's a lot taller. It's a lot wider than one of the towers. I think it's going to be a little bit easier to get my situation, uh, to get my laser situated around it. That is good right there. All right, you know, I'm going to go slow motion as well. I'm going to go down to 20% speed. And, oh, that's affecting my pistons, apparently. Huh, lowering the speed actually made my pistons a little bit stronger, I think. All right, but you know what? I think I got the very top of the building ready to get vaporized. So here we go in three, two, one, go. There it goes. I feel like slow motion actually gives the building time. It gives it too much time to actually break apart and get out of the way. I almost feel like it's worse than regular speed. Yeah, let's go back to regular speed. Oh my goodness. Yep, the speed definitely affects the pistons in some way. Oh yeah, see that feels much more like vaporizy. Look at it, it's just, there's nothing there anymore. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at this, the other, the other buildings are actually supporting me. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. All right, three, two, one, go. <gasps> Look at it, it just falls down into nothing. It doesn't even collapse on itself. It's literally just in like free fall. Like it's not collapsing into itself. It's just dust falling through the air all of a sudden. So despite the limitations, I think I did a pretty good job at getting them to focus in. And I, I almost think it looks better just because of the pattern it creates. It wasn't technically on a single focal point, 
but it was we got the general area it's just it's just it's just a little out of focus look at that oh man this is what it's like from the building's perspective oh it hurts my eyes too bright so this is something that was not at all possible in any way before the laser update because not only did that update bring lasers but it also allowed me to build on this curve by setting the angles as I go, and it allowed me to stabilize the curve using the flex beams. None of those options were available before this. So this is just, it's a great example of how these seemingly small parts can make huge advancements in just the building capabilities. So this came from the comments. So if you have any other ideas on what you'd like to see happen with these new um, abilities in the game, let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.